That's my little New Year's message. I'm really excited for 2020. It should be a really fun one. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Oh no! Is very exciting. It took me a long while to get up the drive. It's a very long drive and it's very bumpy. I haven't um, unwrapped it yet. That'll be done in a couple of days or so. Once I've got a bit of time. So there's a Boxford AUD. But I'm very excited. I will show you the the unwrapping of a box of lathes in a couple of days. Now this is a, a Boxwood AUD. This is a um, it's a really old lathe by modern standards. Now the AUD model was the top of the range model. It's got um, powered uh, thread cutting, screw cutting. But not only that, it's got powered cross slide. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just twiddling knobs. No idea what they do. I know this is the half nut. Uh, this one. So this, presumably this, this is this engages it with the threaded rod here, and then you engage it somewhere here or here. I don't know. I need to look at the manual, and then you would um, it would move the whole carriage, the whole saddle. In relation to the RPM of the motor, it's, they're, they're all kind of tied together. The RPM of that and the RPM of that, you can kind of have different ratios and it gives you different screw threads, different pitches, that kind of thing. But like I say, I know nothing, but what a lovely little machine. It was a real bargain on eBay because it's old, I think that is awesome. So here's a selection of what came with the lathe. There's a lovely four-jaw chuck, Bernard. There's a the Pratt chuck, that it, it's actually the same company, I believe. There's a three-jaw chuck on the lathe. Um, some face plates. I've no idea how good the chucks actually are, whether they're worn out or not. Uh, but I consider them a sort of a, a freebie in, in the deal. Lots of high-speed tooling here. Um, I think a lot of it is oversized. I don't think that will fit on my tool post. Um, for someone who's got nothing, 
it's nice to have a kind of a job lot of possible useful stuff and possibly not useful stuff. So I know what I'm doing. Here's the quick change tool post. And got a few extra here. The ways look okay, but uh, there are a couple of little dings. But the carriage is sort of quite large, so the occasional little ding, it's always going to be here where the work is spinning, I guess. This is where it gets damaged the most. But hopefully the carriage, from what I understand, because it's quite a large thing, um, it kind of averages out any little um, dings as it were. So hopefully that's not too big a problem, this little dings here. Um, but it seems nice and smooth. I did, I did buy some whey oil. Yeah, tail stock. Everything seems nice and smooth. Really, uh, really nice. Yeah. Awesome. A little bit overwhelmed, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but I've got a lot of projects coming up that will... This, this, this should really help me out. Um, I'm doing the excavator. And that requires bushings and pins that are all, you know, fit together nicely. And also the cannon. That'll require boring out. Um, Obviously this thing is not enormous. The distance between centres, which is from there to the tailstock, is only 22 inches. I was holding out for a much bigger lathe, um, a Harrison or a, um, or a Colchester. But let's just say that this one, so it was around the £1,500 mark, which I think was a really good deal. I was kind of after a sort of a, well, I was keeping an eye out for a really cheap 40 inch one, which would have been about to here. But there's no such thing as a really cheap 40 inch one. And if it is cheap, it means it's absolutely ruined. And knowing nothing about lathes. And because I've been, I've been looking for a cheap 40 inch one. Uh, the trouble is when you get to that size as well, it's um, obviously not going to be single phase be three phase, much beefier motors. And then I have the trouble of, there's the, um, it's on the floor there at the moment, but eventually it'll be mounted up there and it's got a kind of a variable kind of speed thing for the motor, I think, or it's, at least it just converts single to three phase for the motor. I don't know what it does for the pump. I assume it works for the pump as well. But yes, yeah, so rather than just holding out for a, a lathe, basically a really old one in in average to knackered condition, a 40 inch lathe, you're talking about 5,000 quid and I just, I just, you know, I might not like lathes, 
I've been looking for, for a lathe for at least a year and a half, two years. So I just saw this and I realized it was an AUD because usually the, um, the BUD or the CUD models come up and they have, they either have, don't have the screw cutting uh, part at all or they'll have the screw cutting bit but no power to the cross slide. Or well, anyway, there's, you know, there are only slight differences, but they functionally, they make quite a big difference. So I thought, oh my God, this, this could be a really good lathe. Get me going on some small parts. And well, you never know, this might just do me. I mean, the only reason I really wanted a bigger one was to do bigger cannons. So I think I'll start with a small cannon to start with, a little tiny diddy thing. Right. Bye. This is very exciting.